赤コーナー百七十二センチ七十点ゼロキロ K1 ワールドマックス二千八準優勝アルテーレキシャイカー Oh this is gonna be exciting Kishinko versus Sawa for the second time first time out last year it was Kishinko who emerged triumphant the odd makers have Kishinko as the favorite one dollar seventy five for the win Sour at $1.85. K1 fans poll 61% tipping Kashenko, 38% tipping Andy Sour. Kashenko refusing to look, refusing to engage in a stare down with Sour. Three by three minute rounds, one extra round in case of a draw. A win decided by KO, TKO, or judge's decision. Three knockdowns in one round, and the fight is all over. Andre Menard. Final instructions in the corner of Andy Sauer. Look at the ice cold stare of Artigashenko. He is no longer the baby faced boy of K1 Max. He is now the brutal young man. Michael Chevello, Mike Kogan with your inside from the sold out Nippon Budokan Arena. Kashenko possesses beautiful leg kicks. Both men have the best liver shots you'll find in all of K1, be it max or heavyweights. Both can drop that left hand to the liver like no one else. Good inside thigh kick from Kishenko, then goes upstairs. Goes to the body of Sauer. You can already see Kishenko trying to launch the heavy artillery. There'll be no feeling out process here. Yeah, and I he mean, just looks like a beast tonight, he just, mate. He just, I mean, since the last fight, you know, against Lima, something about him changed. He got angrier, or, you know, I mean, in a good way, you know, he just comes out with, you just feel the energy in him, like he's just ready to kill you, just within the first round. Where normally, just like most traditional Muay Thai fighters, you know, you have a first round filling out process. None of that. Kashenko who has gone nine and one in his last 10 with three knockout wins. That only loss was against Masato in the K1 Max final last year. And how he would love to rematch Masato if he wins the K1 Max championship this year, Kashenko. He will rematch Masato and Dynamite on New Year's Eve if Masato defeats Kawajiri here tonight, of course. Nice right hand, throws it as the lead hand, does Kishenko. Actually, I believe the Dynamite fight is on whether he defeats Kawajiri or not because he's not part of any tournaments. It's just... Although Masato at the press conference yesterday did say yet again, if he loses to Kawajiri, that's right. he will that's retire right. after tonight. That's right. He said, if I can't beat this guy, uh, I'm I shouldn't be fighting at all. Although, you know, it could have just been yesterday and today he changed his mind. Nice step across leg kick off the back leg from Andy Sauer. Front kick to the midsection from Kashenko. They lock up like two little Mack trucks in centre ring and the referee keeps a close eye on it. They've got to remain busy in the clinch and look at Kashenko just manhandling Sauer. You know, I just noticed something. I don't know if it's important or not at least at this point, but we'll see how he goes up. Oh, he's cut over the eye! Kashenko is cut over the right eye! And he just sweeps out. Beautiful boys high execution. A sweet takedown from Kashenko. He is cut badly over have, the right eye. It might have been from the head when they when they when they banged head. There's that little shot I spoke about. Nice thumping right hand from Kashenko. High right round kick from the Ukrainian. Sauer goes downstairs looking for the quadricep. Step across to the back leg from Sauer. 35 seconds remaining. First round of three. Turning left hook from Kashenko brings it back to center in. Oh, it would be a disaster if this fight got stopped on a technicality. And again, he just dumps Sauer. One score under K1 rules, but that's twice in this round that Sauer's had to pick himself up off the canvas. Body shot, uppercut, high left round kick. Beautiful combination work with power from Kashenko. Jumping knee from Sauer. One, two, final 10 seconds. You see what Kashenko is doing? He's, he's, he's staying so active that Sauer doesn't have a chance to exploit that, that cut until the round is over and then they have a chance to take a look at it in the corner. And I hope it's something they can really good, stop. Good, good, good. 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 I'm more interested in somebody really taking taking a look at that cut. It's, it's above the eye. It's at the eyebrow level. So it's it, it's it's not as uh, you know as bad as Yuya Yamamoto, for example, who had his eyelids split. But yet it could become a factor as this fight goes on, and for sure, Andy Sauer is going to take advantage of that cut in the second round. Some of the action as it went down in the first round as the corner goes to work on Kashenko's cut. Yeah, the cut came from the head, from the headbutt. Un unintentional, but a headbutt. Well, all three judges surprisingly giving that first round 10 points apiece, Mike. I don't see it. I really don't see it. Well, you know. 
Andre Menard fanning down Andy Sauer. They vaselined the cut, put a bit of adrenaline in the cut over the eye of Arja Gashinko. Andy Sauer now has a target painted on the face for him to go after, but Kashenko does a very good job of protecting his right eye. Yeah, so far he's been, you know, of course it was a minute left in the first round after the cut was, was, uh, was split, and he did a really good job protecting it by being overly aggressive and coming at Sauer, not letting him take advantage of it at all. And when they clinched and there was a chance that he could have, you know, again, accidentally headbutted or, or do a, a short punch to it, that's when he did the dump. Right? Dump? I can say dump. Well, I feel weird great. when I say dump. Nice body shot. Good left hook from Kashinko. Overhand right step up knee from Andy Sauer. They are throwing down. That was a smack bang on the kiss of jab from Sauer again. And a lot more aggression being shown here from Andy in the second round as opposed to the first. You can feel quite fortunate that he got away with a drawn first round, Andy Sauer. Kashenko, right hand leap. And again, digs to the body like he's digging for oil. Sauer always with that virgin's defense. Nothing penetrates. Body shot from Kashenko tries to sweep out the lead leg from the inside. Uppercut, left hook from Kashenko. Nice combination work. Become a bit of a boxing contest here in the second round. Both men have left their kicks in the corner. And Sauer must have heard me. Goes for the lead plank. Kashenko with the uppercut. Turns off to his right. Uppercut, right hand from Sauer. Toe to toe they go. Step up knee, looking for the chin. Right left round kick from Kashenko. One minute 20 remaining here in the second of three. Kashenko starting to breathe a little heavily through his mouth here, Mike. Yeah, maybe, you know, there might be something with the nose also attack, but he's, yeah, his mouth is wide open. And that cut is starting to bleed again. It's in a very bad spot. It could actually impair his vision if the blood starts to run down onto the eyelid and into the eye. Flipping left hand there from Kashenko. Goes for the outside back leg of Sal. Andy trying to power through with the right hand. Jab two, body shot. Nice combination work from Sal. Gets countered with the lead hand from Kashenko. Kashenko seems to have slowed a little here with 40 seconds remaining in the second of three. Yeah, I think Kashenko is throwing a lot of power in all of his punches, and that might be just starting to drain him a little bit. You know, he might need to relax a little bit, uh, maybe get his legs involved a little more. He's kind of abandoned the whole leg thing. Andy Sauer, who was on a 12-fight winning streak before that loss to Kashenko last year in October, digs to the body again. Looking for the uppercut off the lead hand. Final 15 seconds of the second round. For my liking, this has been Andy Sauer's round. Liver shot, then hooks him to the head. Does Kashenko. They'll need to go to work on that cut once more in the corner. Oh, and a late blow after the bell. And Kashenko offers his apologies. Two rounds down, one round remaining. I see that as Andy Sauer's round, and this could be a troubled time for Arthur Kashenko breathing heavily. Blood starting to run out of that cut, Mike. And Andy Sauer really picking up the pace. Andy Sauer definitely picked up a pace in this round. Oh, but I would have to say, if, if there should be a 10-10 round, this definitely is a good candidate for you because Arthur Kashenko was able to come back and and I think he threw enough to get it a 10-10 round. And you're right, Mr. Kogan. 10 points apiece, say all three judges. That Kogan vision is working overtime here tonight. That's right. 10 points apiece, so it is down, an man. even fight after two, say all three judges, 20-20. A little bit of swelling over the left eye of Andy Sauer. Nothing That's from the headbutt that cut uh, Kashenko. Just a small hematoma. Kashenko's got a big cut. They have Vaseline again. They put any more Vas on that. And his right eyebrow is going to slip off. Third and final round. Kashenko comes out jabbing. Goes for the liver and a high left round kick. Nice combination to open up proceedings. Inside thigh kick. To the back leg. Goes to the body again, Kishenko. He's opened up strongly, the Ukrainians. Jumping knee to the jawline. Yeah, he probably shouldn't do any more of those jumping knees because Andy Sauer is able to capitalize with the overhand hook all the time, every time he does it. Kishenko used his reach advantage very well last October when he beat Andy Sauer for the first time. At 5'10", he is two inches taller than Sauer, who was 5'8". 
and he's going to continue to keep Sauer at arm's length. Just loses his footing. A diving hook. Checks the low kick to Skoshenko. Sauer comes forward again. Walks into a 1-2. Cracks the back leg. Step up knee from Koshenko. Nice left hook from the Ukrainian. Yeah, that was oh, that was left brilliant. hook, high right round kick from Sauer. Sucking on stuff, then go to the inside lead thigh. This looks a lot like the first fight. You it know, does. which is very close. They're just, you know, they're they're close. Not one can dominate, overly dominate the other. Nice body rip from Sauer. Unfortunately, Gets counter with the right hand to the ear. An extension round is not in favor of Koshenko, who's, who's obviously cut and is leading. Checks the low kick to Koshenko. Half a round remaining in this fight. As Koshenko throws a wicked right up and misses the target. Sal looking for a step up knee. Gets the leg cracked. Could be a little cut under the left eye here of Andy Sal. Digs away to the body. Caught the elbow. Threads the uppercut. Kicks to the back leg. Muay Thai clinch from Sauer, trying to pull the head down. And Koshenko, those long-range punches. Throwing everything he has behind them. 60 seconds remaining in the fight. For all the fans, it was the hardest one to call. Step up knee from Sauer. Looking to become a three-time match champion this year. Koshenko looking for his first ever belt. Goes to the midsection, does Koshenko breathes heavily again as the Ukrainian lazy turning back fist. Spinning back heel from Sauer, then cracks to the lead fire. High right round kick, Sauer definitely cut under that left eye. Is that a cut from Sauer or blood from Koshenko? Because they did clinch a few times. A little bit more swelling over the left eye as well, that hematoma, courtesy of the head flash that opened the cut on Koshenko. Nice bobbing and weaving from Sauer. Final 10 seconds, jumping me! And they slug it out toe to toe, looking for one big shot in the final seconds. Oh! And inside, Mikey oh, the big leg momentarily wobbled out to Koshenko. And Mikey, I wouldn't want to be a judge on this one, brother. I hate to say this, folks, but it's looked like a 10 10 round to me, in which case they will go to the extension round. But. I don't know, Koshenko looks a little bit winded. I don't know if the, the next round is... Well, for me, Koshenko started to look fatigued from midway through the second round when right, he but began he really started to look winded towards the, to the last minute of the, of the third round. You really could see. Certainly, Andy, it looks the fresher of the two if we do go into an extension round. So, instructions from Andre Menard and the crew from Majuro Jim, the corner of Andy Sauer. Great to see the Nata Simonitis in the corner of Arte Koshenko as always. There's Andre Menard, left of screen. One of the great cruiserweights. Heavyweights in Europe back in his day. First judge gives it a draw. Second judge a draw. We are going into an extension round. A big brick there from Koshenko. There is a little cut under the eye of Andy Sauer. Which Andre is just pushed up. Donatus giving a drink to Koshenko, and we are ready for the extension round. Three minutes to go. Who will put the foot down? Who's got the guts? Who's got the intestinal fortitude? And who's got the pepper and the want to get through to the final four at the Yokohama Arena in October? Yes, folks, that right. The Yokohama Arena. Max is becoming so popular. Not only did we sell out the Budokan one week ago with 12,000 strong here tonight, but for October, we are leaving the Budokan and going to the 17,000-seater Yokohama Arena. And as you said, you're right. I mean, this is the time to dig deep. Now is the time to, you know, just let it all hang, so to speak. And for the next three minutes, just go all out. Because the winner gets to the final, and the loser goes home and has to sit until next year. Trade of leg kicks. Both men negating each other. Right hand lead there from Koshenko. Goes upstairs looking for the headache maker. And digs away to the liver section of Sauer. Wiles uppercut from Andy. Almost went through the ceiling. Snaps the jab out. 
Tracks the back leg. He's got that beautiful step around leg kick to the rear side as Andy Sauer. Inside leg kick from Koshenko. Goes to the body again, dipping the left hand. And he comes forward, front kick to the midsection, forces him back a couple of paces. Inside thigh kick again from Sauer. Into the outside part. Right hand lead, leg kick from Sauer. Scoring combination from him. I think the only thing that's happening here is Schenko's doing a lot of counter punches. And then he waits and then counter punches. Oh, that was a beautiful head kick that looped around the neck from Sauer. And Koshenko stood up to it. Well, I think he caught it in his glove. Outside thigh kick from Sauer. This is just a toe to toe war. Looping left hand from Sauer. Checks a low kick to Koshenko. Four punch combination. Puts the exclamation mark at the high kick. Goes back to the body. That'll score for Koshenko. It is still a very even fight. It will now come down to the last 60 seconds. Who will steal it? Who will go? Kleptomania. Outside thigh kick from Sauer. And he goes to the back leg. Those will score for Andy. Just a really even match. I mean, if somebody's really got to kick it into a higher gear if that's even possible at this point, just because it's such an even round. Nice combination. Four punches from Koshenko. That'll score well for the judges. Yeah, they look at the aggression, they look at the output. Yeah, I think if I was a judge, I'm almost like going, somebody give me a reason to give you this fight, because so far, it's just been a back and forth, back and forth, very evenly distributed fight. 20 seconds remaining in this extension round. Body shot from Kishenko, turns him around, tries to work the right hand. Chad two hooks, spinning back fist. Nicely done from Koshenko. Ten seconds to go. Spinning back fist again from Koshenko. He wants to bring it home solidly now, Arta Koshenko. High right round kick. Has he stolen the round? Has he stolen the round? Well, Sawa pumps his fist into the air. I would have to say, I don't know. My I'm, kid, I'm not really going to try and call this one. I'm just glad. You know, I've been talking smack about these judges. I'm glad I'm not a judge on this one, just because, you know, this fourth round just looked as even as the other three. You know, I'll be honest with you. If there was ever a round that I would give to Kishenko was the first round, he probably had a slight advantage. But the other, you know, the, the second, third, and fourth rounds are just too even. Body shots there from Kishenko. High kick from Andy. This one is closer than Siamese twins. Let's go to the decision. Andy Sauer says the first judge. Andy Sauer says the second judge. The dream is over for Arta Koshenko. And Andy Sauer once again makes it through to the K1 Max Final Four. What an epic battle. They went toe to toe for four rounds. And tremendous sportsmanship in Sanjuri. Both men with the utmost respect for each other. And folks, that means coming up next, we've got.